what's going on recovering depressos i am having a little bit of a dilemma today like i was supposed to be up and awake and having like a productive day today but i didn't i really didn't do anything like worthwhile today but i've been debating okay i literally started posting videos online because well one i was depressed and posting dance videos helped me feel a little bit happier about myself and my life. Um, it really helped with like bo body positivity and like helping me feel better about myself and my body. Um, it was like therapy almost, right? But I also wanted to help other people through the stories that I've lived. Whenever I tell like my friends the stories that I've been through, the, they, like, they just can't believe it. They're like, how? Like, what? So the people close to me know the crazy things that I've been to or that I've been through. Um, but I'm struggling with like, how ethical is it to share personal stories with the internet? Because in some of these stories, a lot of my relatives don't look great, you know? In some of these stories, a lot of my ex-friends don't look great. And I struggle between, let me share the story because a lot of people are growing through that. Um, and, and, but on the other hand, right, on the flip, on the flip side, it's like, well, if these people wanted to, wanted me to speak about them in a positive light, they should have acted better. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Like, for example, I have a cousin that I will not speak to unless I have to speak to him. Why? Because he literally hung out with my ex-husband after he realized that he was abusing me and cheating on me. Um, if my cousin wanted me to speak about him in a positive light, he wouldn't have been a piece of shit and taken my ex-husband's side, right? I have an auntie that called me and, um, literally like just told me that I was so bad for her image because I stopped dressing modestly and then she was all like next time don't marry a guy that wants you for like immigration purposes and I was all like well nice to talk to you too but if she wanted me to speak about her in a positive light um she would have acted better you know I mean, I have another, like, person, like, the person that, like, really forced me into an arranged marriage, uh, bless her heart, if she wanted me to speak about her in a positive light, she would have acted better. And also, like, 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 my ex-husband, for example, if he wanted me to speak about him in a positive light, he wouldn't have lived off of my student loans and left me in so much debt. Like, the ex-boyfriend is after that. Like, if they wanted to, like, if they wanted me to speak about them positively, they would have, you know, acted a lot better. Not acted like they wanted princess treatment. Not acted like they were um, single, but like living with their ex is single. Or like, like, pretended to be divorced when they were actually married. Like, these people, if they wanted me to speak about them in a positive light, they would have acted better and like this is just scratching the surface this is literally just scratching the surface i have not even went into any debt you know any depth but like like i struggle you know because if i am being a shitty person towards other people i wouldn't want them to speak badly about me because maybe i changed a new leaf you know what i mean um but, like, in a lot of cases, people have not changed a new leaf. And I'm sorry, but I really believe that if you were unkind to me in your youth and now you're just old, you're still not a very good person. And I don't know. I think people can change. I think people do, like, the best that they can with the tools that they have. And don't get me wrong, I'm in such a beautiful place right now. I'm very thankful. God has been so, so good to me. Like, God, like God has helped me and gave me the tools to cut off so many toxic, negative people out of my life. Like, I don't even have to talk to these people ever again. Thank you, Lord. Um, that being said, I know my stories are interesting, but not unique. 
a lot of like girls around the world go through certain types of abuse with like relationships or families or family dysfunction or whatever the case may be but it's like what is the ethical thing to do like do i share my stories with the world hoping that it will help women around the world like hoping that my stories would somehow help like empower people um or or do i not say anything and keep the reputation of these people now mind you i think it's illegal to like mention people's names like oh this person's first and last name is so and so i think that's illegal and that's like what is it called like a like you're making somebody look bad like making somebody's reputation look bad is illegal and sometimes people can sue you but i have a lot of aunties and a lot of uncles and a lot of cousins and i won't really mention like my ex-spouse's name or my ex like boyfriend's names um because not because i really give a damn but it's because it's illegal to make people's reputations look bad so i'll probably give them shitty names like pretend names um that being said, I don't know, like, do I just not share with the world, you know, or do I just say, you know what, fuck it, if they wanted me to speak better about them, they should have all acted better, because I was human too, once upon a time, and I don't know, like, sometimes I share general things, like, I'll have a topic, and I'll share, like, a general topic, um, but sometimes you gain more like like inspiration from the in-depth stories and I, I see a lot of people on here doing like story times and stuff like that and it's like I don't know like do I want to relive that trauma or do I want to just like move on and pretend it never happened because let me tell you it's hard to move on and pretend like it never happened because sometimes you've been wrong do you know what I'm saying I might delete this later, but if you just happen to see this, I don't know. Should I share or should I like just stick to my dancing and possibly calisthenics? Bye.